Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the new Series 6 update that is actually coming, I believe, tomorrow. But we did get the entire pre-reveal and we got a little bit of everything today on the stream, of course. So, guys, super excited to go over that, guys. A lot of good stuff in there. Now, where it is from what Kralos said is this will be the final Series 6. Series 6 will be the final Series update of Men 21, which essentially means the developers have given up on us right now. That, that just means no more progression. We're still going to get promos. We're still going to get some other stuff. But that will be the end of leveling up. That will be the end of, you know, level up packs. That will be the end of free stuff. That will be the end of easy grind, you know, big solo drops for leveling up. You know, that will be the end of team captains. That will be the end of... Um, What's it called? Uh, master, Sam Mills, my master. That'll be the end of a few things, right? Level up master. But, you know, promos are still coming. You're not, at the end of the day, guys, not like the captains, masters, and all that stuff is really that usable for most uh, most teams. Good for a lot of teams, but not good for most, right? If that if that makes sense. Uh, there's, there's definitely teams that could use them on theme teams. Definitely people that utilize them on budget squads. But on God squads and the old, and, you know, weekend league and all that stuff, it probably, you didn't see them as much as you'd probably think. But, guys, before we do get into today's video, and go through the series six update. Make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that audio bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what's going on, guys. Let me know if you guys are excited for this. We will be getting a new level up grind. Let me know if you guys are excited for that. But let's head on over to the screenshots and go over just about everything. Okay, so as you can see here, we have Mutt Level Series 6 update. So level 91, you're gonna get a store offer, which is pretty much the uh the easy level up, you know, coin quick sell pack. Level 92 will get Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack, which is actually super cool because those are expensive packs for coins and money, so it's nice to get a free one. Power Pass 98, so you're going to get a 98 overall Power Pass and a level up token, which is cool. Level 94 is a 50,000 KR, uh, you know, 50,000 coin quick sell, which is cool. Level Solos unlock a 95 for your Andre Johnson. 96 is another store offer, which is another one of those cheap um, coin quick sell packs. Level 97 is another level uh, solo unlock, which is good for Andre Johnson. Level 98's Ultimate Legends Fantasy Pack, which again, another great pack to get. And Power Pass 99 is level 99. So that will be the final Power Pass probably of the year in terms of leveling up. Now, that's a 99 overall Power Pass. Now, at the moment, there's only like two in the game. So don't expect a lot of options for that. You're more than likely going to probably have to hold that for a little bit to get the right guy. I mean, you could toss on any guy for now that just, you know, like I any of the two guys. But you probably want to hold that for a little bit until we get a bit more 99s. Next, guys, we have Mutt Dedication. Of course, here's the new level up grind you guys can see here. Complete all these, complete these tasks to earn a pack and hitting a quick sell item worth up to 500k coins. Get to level 99 for increased coin rewards. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool as well. Next, we have Series 6 multiplayer, guys. If you do play through all this, you will be able to get an additional 100,000 coins. And of course, all the trophies and stuff that do come usually with doing that as well. Next, you have Team Builders. We're going to get Team Builders for Series 6. Now, the Team Builders are only 95 overall players, which not too exciting guys not the greatest but there is some hope because we do believe that we'll be getting team mvps potentially after team builders if you guys don't know team build team mvp is kind of like the culmination of team builders are like 98 overall 97 overall players one for every team now we i don't believe we got we i don't believe we got anything like within that exact range so it would be cool and if team builders are done we can only hope for team mvps and Kralo did reference that we have a cherry on top to all this coming next week so more than likely it's probably team uh mvp is the only thing i can see that has like a relation to this Next, as you guys can see here, we have team uh, 95 overall team builder fantasy pack. So, of course, you play through your stuff. You get some of these players. You can put them in there. All right. So, a, a few a few uh, hinted ones. We have Rodrigo Blankenship, kicker for the Colts. Nothing really too great there. And their low overalls are not too exciting. Trey Flowers for the Seahawks. And these are going to be great theme team players, guys. So, if you guys are a theme team kind of guy, if you have one, you probably appreciate this a lot more than others. Um, though, this card will get 99 zone. We'll get 99 speed. or oh, 98 speed. Oh, of course, we're talking theme teams that have 99 speed, 99 zone. Not a bad card. Uh, next, guys, Team Captain Series 6. You will be able to max out your Team Captains in 99 overall with this. So, win 75 challenges or head-to-head -head games. You, know, you can do all the you can do all the stuff here to get your three tokens. But remember, if you don't want to go ahead and get these this way, you can always just go ahead to the store and go buy the ones that you need. Okay, so Aeneas Williams is the first one. These are the 99 overall stats. 99 overall Aeneas Williams. He's got 95 speed, 97 excel, 97 agility, 96 jumping, 99 play rec. 99 man, 99, 95 zone, 92 press. Now, in my opinion, guys, this card isn't that great. He will not get 99 speed unless it's on a theme team, which, again, this whole this whole drop seems like theme team oriented. He will have the 99 man, 99 probably wreck. He's not a horrible free corner. You'll have 99 zone, but he won't get 99 press. He won't get 99 speed. I mean, he's going to be close. He'll get, like, 97, 98, depending. But, um, 
my personal opinion they definitely should have given us slightly faster cards here my opinion right but again our theme team is gonna be great ed mccaffrey only 94 speed at wide receiver again not gonna be a usable card does he get crazy catching yes well pretty good at catching because then that spec catch is a little bit low will he get 99 uh deep i mean sorry medium and short out running yes but the speed's not there we all know that's really big for separation this year or most years eddie george now he's not horrible eddie george he's actually pretty decent the only issue with him is going to be he's next gen more he's more next gen oriented and he has to be on a theme team on a theme team guys will be great he will get up to 99 speed in the theme team he'll have 99 break tackle 99 truck 99 carrying he'll have mid high 90 change of direction he'll have 97 excel you know on a on a theme team he'll be he'll be he'll be pretty good on next gen but again needs a theme team and Leroy Glover's a defensive tackle. Now, yes, does he have 90 finesse move? That's good. Does he have 93 power move? That's pretty good. 97 blocks, 97 player, 99 attack. He's one of the best defensive tackles in the game, actually, with the athleticism. The best one out of the four is probably Leroy Glover. Sadly, he plays a position, though, where most people haven't actually used this year, so that's what kind of hurts him. Next, guys, we have Andre Johnson. These are his upgrades that you guys see, 97, 98, and then finally, 99. Now, this is the final card art right here. 99 overall, Andre Johnson is actually pretty good, so he will get... 98 speed and of course that's pretty good but on a theme team we'll get 99 so you have this guy on a theme team who will have 99 speed 99 jumping 99 catching 99 catching traffic 99 spec catch you'll get 99 short running 99 medium right running and 90 93 deep right running probably stays the same so that would be a pretty good wide receiver he's a big body he's physical he's got the weight after the catch he's pretty decent if you guys go back here you can see a little bit he's got a 90 stiff arm he'll get above uh he'll have a 92 stiff arm 90, 91 juke and need to change of direction 80 trucking the car's going to be a beast. I mean, the car's going to be good. Again, he has to be on a theme team, though, to get to 99. But by itself, he'll still have a 98 speed. So, you know, if he's just a free card you have, putting him as your third or fourth receiver, or even your second, isn't exactly the worst idea. If you try to earn coins. Sam Mills, final 99 card out right here. So, we got 94 speed, 96 excel, 84 strength, 98 tackle, 99 play rec, 91 blocks, 93 power, moving 93 zone. What I think they got lazy on was the final card art. I mean, in, you know, past years, a 99 card usually, like, my master's usually a crazy looking card art that's very different from the rest but not here but again he's a linebacker so that already just you know kills his ability to be used but if not 96 speed is not that great he will get 99 zone you know 99 play rec 99 tackle low you know decent blocks i mean he's a decent i'd say decent at best i actually say i say a little below average actually because of that speed just not in game enough next guys we got the exchange set 95 to 96 of course is the new one nothing too important here if you guys got some old nats so you can always turn them in here and kind of like dial up some of your you know clean out your binder a little bit so that's always that's always a good option as well and of course we have john madden which has just been completely useless this year guys i don't know why they went ahead and ruined him he was such a good aspect to madden for so long and then you go new series new drop series six update team affinity new team builder challenges and players available now series six trophies series five trophies have been converted to series five series five trophies have been converted to series uh, i feel like I don't think that I don't think that's typed right. Level update, level cap increase, new level challenge available now. Series redux, and of course there are the reduxes as well, guys, which you guys already know. You've seen the list. But guys, about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the, uh, today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know, guys, what is your biggest takeaway from this? Like, are you going for redux cards? Are you hyped for the level ups? Are you hyped for the team captains? And of course, if you do need coins or anything, head on over to Muckcoin Bank down below and use code Poodle for five percent off your order. Take advantage. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.